Welcome to my class for learning trigonometry. Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics which deals with angles and sides of a triangle. We start with definition of an angle and will work through advanced concepts in trigonometry. Now the amount of turning of terminal ray OA from another ray called initial ray which is OB in this case at common vertex O is called the angle. Now here the terminal arm or the terminal ray is turned through this much amount. This amount of turning will be called an angle. The Greek letters alpha, beta, gamma, theta are commonly used for variable to denote or measure the amount of turn. Let me call this alpha. So here alpha is the angle and remember that this turn will be positive if the turning is in anti-clockwise direction and if the terminal ray OA is turning in, 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 in clockwise direction then the angle will be taken as negative. And how do we measure that how much angle has been turned? What are the units of measurement? The units of measurements are degrees and radians. These are the mostly used uh, units of measurements. There are other units of measurement, but these are the most commonly used units of measurements. Degree. When a circle is divided into 360 equal parts on the circumference, the angle made by each part at the center is called 1 degree. So here you can see that a circle is divided into 360 equal parts. Angle made by each part will be called 1 degree. And if so, then how many degrees will be in in this part. There will be 90 degrees in this, 90 degrees in this portion and 90 degrees in this portion and 90 degrees in this portion. Each one of these will be called one quadrant. So if we want to drive another unit, we actually can drive or talk about another unit of measurement of an angle which is a quadrant. Quadrant is one fourth of the turn through a one complete circle. So this is called first quadrant, this is called second quadrant, this is called third quadrant and this is called fourth quadrant. In every quadrant we turn through 90 degree angle. So if this line is taken as theta equal to 0, that's when there was no turn, then that's when initial, uh, initial ray and the terminal ray were initially at one position. That is when the angle was 0, means theta is equal to 0. After the terminal ray turned through an angle of 90 degree, it reached to this position and here this is called theta is equal to 90 degree. Upon further turning in anti-clockwise direction of 90 degree, this reached to this position and here theta is equal to 180 degree. Similarly, here theta is equal to 200 and 70 degrees and again when the terminal ray after turning through the whole circle coincides with the initial arm or initial ray at that point theta could also be called 360 degree. You can see that theta is equal to 0 and theta is equal to 360 degree are basically the same angle that's the same position. So this is what is degree. So how many degrees in a complete circle? 
360 and in each quadrant there are 90 degrees and let's drive the units from uh, for let's talk about another unit for measurement of an angle which is called radian radian is let's say that this OA is equal to radius so here radius is equal to OA and now if we take an arc on the circle which is equal in length so taking an arc AB let's call this arc AB the length of arc AB and the radius OA are exactly same radius is equal to OA now if arc AB is equal to OA the in length both are equal then angle made by then angle A O and B this angle here this angle from O to B this will be called one radian one radian so you can see that radian is a bigger angle than degree so how many radians in a circle how many how many how many radians radians in a circle in a circle there are two pi radians 2 pi radians and how many degrees in a circle how many degrees total number of number of degrees degrees in a circle in a circle is equal to 360 degrees and how many radians in a circle there are 2 pi radians so the angle initially is same whether you measure it in radians or whether you measure it in degrees this suggests this means this means that 2 pi radians 2 pi radians 2 pi radians are exactly same as 360 degrees so how many then if we divide both sides by 2 pi then 1 radian would be equal to 1 radian will be equal to 360 degrees divided by 2 pi because 2 pi is multiplying with radians on this side on other side it will divide it means that 1 radian will be equal to 1 radian will be equal to 180 over pi degrees so if we substitute the value of pi which is 3 point something then one radian is almost equal to 57 point something degrees so that is the relation whenever we want to convert radians into degrees for example if there was a question if there was a question that convert convert pi by 2 radians radians into degrees into degrees so how we can convert pi by 2 radians radians are in fact equal to radian is equal to how many degrees pi by 2 time 
if we substitute the value of radian, we can simply write, instead of writing radian, we can say 180 over pi and then degrees. Because, because one radian, one radian is equal to 180 over pi degrees. Remember this formula that whenever you want to convert radians into degrees, simply multiply it by 180 over pi. That's what we did. You can see here, if we wanted to convert pi by 2 radians into degrees, we simply multiplied it with 180 over pi degrees. Now pi can be cancelled and this will be equal to 180 over 2 is equal to 90 degrees. Whether you write degrees this way or you write the symbol of degrees, that's one and the same thing. And if we want to convert degrees into radians, another way, or you can say also, we know 360 degrees are equal to 2 pi radians. 2 pi radians. If we use symbol this small 0 on top of 0, that's okay, but we can also use 360 and then the world degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. And now, if we want to divide both sides by 360, 360 degrees divided by 360 is equal to 2 pi radians divided by 360. Here we will have 1 degree, 1 degree equal to pi over 180, pi over 180 by reducing the right hand side to lowest form, this would be. So now you can see that 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radians. So if we were to convert radians into degrees, now the example would be if uh, convert convert 45 45 degrees degrees into radians into radians we want to convert degrees into radians so if that is the case then we can write 45 degrees is equal to now we know that degree is equal to pi by 180 radians so we just substitute the equivalent of a degree 45 times pi over 180 and then radians and here you can see that we simply substituted the value for the degree which we have calculated in 1 so now we can see that this is equal to pi by 4 radians. So this is how we can convert degrees into radians and radians into degrees. Some well known, if we, we, we go back and we look at this circle here, which we were drawing here, theta is equal to 90 degree. If we convert this 90 into radians, this will be also called theta is equal to pi by 2 radians because 90 degrees are same as pi by 2 radians and theta is equal to 180 degree is same as theta is equal to pi and then radians. Theta is equal to 270 degrees is equal to theta is equal to 3 pi by 2. Two, because if you want to see it, we can do that. Theta is equal to 
270 degrees degrees and you know that whenever we want to convert degrees into radians what do we need to multiply 270 time pi over 180 and this will be radians that is value for the degree whenever we want to convert degrees into radians so here you can see that this zero gets cancelled with this and 27 pi by 18 when reduced to lowest form this becomes 3 pi by 2 radians and that's what we have up there and theta is equal to 360 is same as 2 pi radians so remember these things and we will solve more examples in the next, next uh, lesson.